In this video, we're going to look at using Blue Cat Audio Connector to transfer audio and MIDI between Logic and Pro Tools and vice versa, Pro Tools and Logic. Now, for this to work, it's best if you have your buffer settings the same in both of your DAWs. It'll make the transfers more stable and minimize latency. Here's a bass sound that I like that I'm working with in Logic Pro. And I like this sound. It's from Logic's internal synth. Now, I'm going to start by just duplicating this track. And I'm going to copy the region down. And now, instead of ES2, I'm going to call up Connector as the software instrument. And I'm going to set this on the Logic side. Let me rename this track to Bass Send. And I'm going to set this to Send. And we're going to send MIDI only. And I'm going to name this instance of connector. And I'm going to set this to send to local host since I want to send it to another app on the same computer. Now, on the Pro Tools side of things, I'm going to start by creating a new stereo audio track. And I'm going to call up connector. And then in here, I'm going to set this to receive. And again, from local host. And they're both set to port 8080. And now when I hit play in Logic we'll see that it's receiving bass from Logic there. So that's the first step, and I'm going to name this. And now I'm going to create a new MIDI track. Now with this MIDI track, I'm going to set the input to connector, and the output is going to go to the synth cell instrument. So now I should be able to hit play in Logic, have it send from Logic to this audio track in this instance of connector, with the MIDI track then rerouting that signal from connector to synth cell. And for this to work, let's record enable the MIDI track. Great. And I can make any tweaks I want here. Now my job is to get it from Pro Tools back into Logic. So I'm going to create another instance of connector here after Synth Cell. And here I'm going to set this to send. And I'm going to go localhost again. And I'm going to send audio this time. And it's important here that I change the port number. So I'm going to change it to 8081. And I'll name this instance as well. Now I can close that. And back in Logic, I'm going to go into the mixer. And I'm going to create a new aux track. I'm going to hit Control N as a shortcut. And I'm going to set the input here to an unused input just so that I'm not going to pick up my microphone sound. Now here, I'm going to call up an instance of connector again. And in this case, I'm going to set it to receive localhost port 8081. And now when I hit play, I should be receiving the bass signal back here. And now to commit or render the audio into Logic, there's a couple of things I can do. I'm just going to go full screen with Logic for the moment. Now I can just bounce in real time and it'll be included in my audio stream, but I can also record it to an audio track. So I'm going to create a new audio track here and I'm going to set the output of this aux to an unused bus. Let's go bus 10. And it's created a new aux here, but I don't really need that. I just need the virtual routing. And then the audio input track here, I'm going to set the input field to stereo and then to receive the signal from that bus. So if I record enable this, we'll get the signal here. And we'll look at both. You can see the signal in Pro Tools there. So now all I got to do is hit record. And what I can do now is just bypass or mute these instances of connector so we're not receiving any more signal. And we'll see and hear the printed track from Pro Tools. Let's take a look at routing things the other way around, sending MIDI from Pro Tools into Logic to trigger a Logic instrument and then record that audio back to Pro Tools. So here's bass and drums from Pro Tools and I want to double this bass sound with an alchemy sound in Logic. I'm going to start by creating a MIDI track and an instrument track in Pro Tools. 
And I'm going to option drag this MIDI clip onto the MIDI track so that the MIDI track is going to send it out. Now on the instrument track, I'm going to call up connector. I'm going to set it to send MIDI only local host. And on the MIDI track, I'm going to set the output to connector. And for good measure, let's name this instance of connector. Now on the logic side, I've got an alchemy instrument called up with a nice sound that's going to work nicely as a layer, I think. And under the MIDI effects, I'm going to call up the connector version. And then here on the logic side, I'm going to set this to receive and set it to local host. And I'm going to dial up the buffer just so we don't get any dropouts to begin with. And let's listen. <laughs> just the bass from Logic and the two of them together. Now let's look at getting the audio back into Pro Tools. On this instrument track in Logic, I'm going to set up an audio effects version of Connector and I'm going to set it again this time to Send local host and I'm going to change the port number so it doesn't conflict with the other instance that I have and I want it to send audio only and let's name it and now on the Pro Tools side I'm going to set up a new stereo audio track and we'll call up an instance of connector there so here I'm going to set it to receive and I'm going to set it to port 8081 and I'm going to set it to local host and I'm going to bring this down just so it's not too loud at the beginning and there's the signal getting back into Pro Tools. And now it's a simple matter of recording it onto this audio track. So there's two-way communication for audio and MIDI using Blue Cat Audio Connector.